All right, you guys, how's it going? So uh, today I'm going to do a uh, <coughs> little overview, uh, since some of you have asked, since my update video on this truck um, about my 50-inch light bar up here. Um, so like I said, my girlfriend bought me this for my birthday recently, um, and I'm going to talk you through everything that I did in preparation of putting this on, how I put it on, um, everything else. Um, so uh, God, who sold it? Uh, sh I guess she bought it off of Amazon. Um, it's not a rigid. Um, it's from Ebo Trade. If that's what it was, um, she said it was a little over 100 bucks in free shipping. Got here in like four days from UPS. Um, packaged just like my Mazion up there, um, but uh, it was missing the mounting hardware, um, so it didn't have uh, it didn't have any of the bolts, didn't have these, and it did not have these metal feet. Um, so you know it's come to expect of a uh, you know a Chinese knockoff buying it. So, uh, but anyway, I made it work. Um, and also a few of you have asked about these mounts. Um, these are not Ford Ranger specific mounts. Um, I basically searched and searched and searched and only I've only found one manufacturer and they wanted like 160 bucks for them. So I'm like, eh, you know. So I got these on Amazon as well. Um, they are made for, I believe, an 03 to 07 Ram 1500. Um, which explains why I had to mount them on backwards um, because this is actually supposed to be if this was on a ram this would be up against the light bar um, and so I used a lock washer on this side and a lock washer and a shit ton of washers in there you can see them all uh, just to fill the gap um, and uh, I can't remember the thread or the diameter on this um, but let me my sockets out here so I can show you guys uh, what kind of socket it is I think it's like a 14 or, 10 or like a 10 or something like that okay so it's a, a 10 mil bolt um, but anyway um, <clears throat> So the first thing I did when I got this light bar in the mail is uh, I learned my lesson with the Mazion up there. Uh, I sealed the shit out of this thing with some clear silicone. Uh, every single crease I could find on it. Uh, and I did see moisture in it a while ago, but that was because I went through the coin-op car wash with a power washer. And I think a little bit got inside this gap here. But uh, it's since evaporated. As you can see, no more water in there all looking real good um and so from now you know from that point on i've just been using my garden hose here at home to wash my truck um so as long as you're not like you know with the pressure washer you should be good um and uh the build quality on this is okay i mean you can see a power wire way up there um and then uh a uh, structural design flaw that I've noticed uh, when, when my neighbor and I were putting this on he was bolting down that side I was bolting on this side and I was only about a quarter of the way in with this bolt and I felt it just let go and so either I, I thought that the bolt snapped but what turned out was the actual entire uh, thread housing just snapped and so I was pissed at that point because the light bar fell on my truck and I thought it was ruined, everything else, but uh, I was just, I managed to still be able to thread it in there, and, you know, this thing is on there, so, um, and the way that I mounted the mounts to my truck is I peeled back this weather stripping, drilled some holes, put some silicone in, and I just riveted it in place. I may take these out at some point in the future to put bolts in, uh, but for the time being, it's working. Um, as far as noise, you can see there is a gap here, so I need to glue this weather stripping back on around this, maybe modify it a little bit. Um, but, uh, the door still, there is a, you can, you can feel and hear a little bit of tension from the doors against these. Um, but it's nothing to the point where my door's going to fall off or something. Um, uh, a lot of people have also talked about whistling with these light bars, um, and... It does whistle, but only at high speeds, because um, I've heard of people, you know, on like 25 or 30 miles an hour, it whistles like crazy. This thing whistles uh, between 60 and 70 miles an hour. The faster you go, the louder it gets. And uh, the whistling, is, if you don't know, is essentially caused by wind coming this way, 
around this cooling duct here and then back out. So that's what's causing the whistling. And so then if we go to this side of the truck, this is how I have it wired. Uh, I was pretty lucky the way Ford designed this weather stripping because it already had this channel built inside of it. So I didn't have to drill a hole in my roof. Um, so I just ran the power cable down here. I took the the uh, weather stripping or the uh, insulation off both the wires. Made a slice in here and ran those both down here. And I've simply got some spade connectors right there. And then they're crimped to uh, wire extensions and then to the same kind of relay I have with my 24 inch light bar. Um, and uh, as far as uh, how bright it is, it's 48,000 lumens. Um, it's, uh, it's silly bright. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, I'll never need this much light, but you know what, I, I love the look of that light bar on my truck, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it so I don't absolutely kill my battery. Get my chance for my alternator to keep up. And so this is my 24 inch light bar and that's the 50 inch. And that's what she looks like, all lit up. I mean, it's blinding during the day. Oh. Well, yep. Yeah. But she works and she's bright as all hell. It's ridiculous. And I love it. So, but, yeah. So that's basically uh, the light bar and, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll show you how stiff it is with the doors all closed. Because once the doors are closed, this thing is on there. I mean, I'm moving the whole fucking truck. So, the mounts aren't going anywhere. I, have, You know, there is a little bit of rotational movement because, you know, with all these light bars, I have these teeth in there that grip. And that's why I put a lock washer in there. Uh, I just wish I could have found some kind of an insert. I know Rigid sells them. Uh, that you can put inside of here that'll actually grip that the teeth in there um, but you know for it's it hasn't moved on me I mean if I really try and sit here and move it I can but uh, just driving down a few dirt roads and bumpy LA roads it hasn't moved at all so um, haven't had a problem with wires pinching or anything um, but yeah in general that's really the uh, the light bar and um, I'll go ahead and throw links down below if you guys want to do the same kind of setup. Uh, I'll throw links down to uh, the light bar mounts. And they did take two weeks to get here because they were shipped directly from China. Um, and then uh, I'll put a link down to the light bar too if they're still selling them on there. Um, I'll just get the link from my girlfriend or something. But uh, yeah, lots of compliments on it. Everybody's, you know, stopping and looking at my truck and everything. And it's just, uh, you know, with that that light bar and these fog lights and it's uh it's a beautiful sight so uh great little addition to my truck and uh i hear i'm a very lucky guy for a girlfriend who buys me that so and i have to agree so um but we'll do a separate video at night out way out in the boonies um since i'm on summer break right now i'm not really driving out to oxnard anymore um but uh, i'm sure one of these days i'll uh I'll find a day to go out and show you guys just how bright this thing really is. So uh, until then, comments, questions, leave them down below. If you're feeling generous, hit that like button. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.